U.S. President Donald Trump retweeted a call for the firing of the administration's top infectious disease specialist, Dr. Anthony Fauci, who is leading the government's coronavirus response. The apparent condemnation came after Fauci, head of the National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, said in a CNN interview that earlier social distancing and stay-at-home orders from the administration could have saved more lives. But he added it was very difficult to go back and say that, and the process of deciding whether to impose early restrictions was complicated. To date, the U.S. has recorded more infections and deaths than any other country, with more than 557,500 cases and over 22,000 deaths. In a tweet retweeted by Trump, Former Republican congressional candidate Dean Lorraine wrote that Fossey is now saying that had Trump listened to the medical experts earlier he could have saved more lives, adding, Time to pound side fiery Fossey. Trump retweeted the missive shortly after it was posted early on Monday, adding sorry fake news, it's all on tape. I banned China long before people spoke up. Thank you. Following questions about what Trump's retweet may mean for Fossey, the White House said that the president had no intention of removing the scientist from his post. This media chatter is ridiculous President Trump is not firing Dr. Fossey, said White House spokesman Hogan Gidley. Dr. Fossey has been and remains a trusted advisor to President Trump. Trump has been criticized for initially downplaying the threat of the coronavirus in the early days of the outbreak, comparing it to the seasonal flu and suggesting it was being used as a political tool by the opposition Democratic Party. The administration has also been blamed for the lack of widespread testing, which continues to dog jurisdictions across the country and keep the actual scope of infections largely unknown. The president has repeatedly pointed to his policy in early February of blocking foreigners who had been in China in the past 14 days from entering the U.S. as proof of early action in battling the pandemic.